Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 143. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? We are told that three quarters of A's population equals to town B's population. We have three towns, A, B, and C. Three quarters of A's population is equals to B's population. We are further told that seven ninth of B's population, seven ninth of B's population is C's population. The total population of the three towns we are told is 280,000. Question simply is what are the population, what are the populations, not population, but populations of each town, of each town, not two towns, of each town. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Let's begin. We have three towns, A, B, and C. A, B, and C. And total population of those three towns is 280,000. 280,000. We're just going to work in thousands. Population of A, let's call it just A, that quantity. Population of B, we are told, is three quarters of A. So population of B is simply three quarters of A. So that takes care of that part. Population of C, we are told, is seven ninth of B. Population of C, so that's the B part. Population of C is seven ninth of B. Seven ninth of B. But B we know, B in, the, in turn of course we know equals three quarter of A. We can't leave it like this because otherwise we'll end up with two variables. So we're going to make the substitution one more time. B we know is three quarter of A. So we're going to put that here in place of B. In place of B we're going to put down three quarters of A. Three quarters of A. There we go. And all of that has to equal 280. And that simple equation is what we have to solve to figure out the population of A. And once we have the population of A, we can figure out B and C. Let's do up here, shall we? Let's do up there. So first we're going to rewrite the equation just the way it is. So we have town A, population of town B is three quarters of three quarters of A, and population of town C is seven ninth, seven ninth of B. But B, of course, we know is three quarters of A. B is simply three quarters of A. And they have to add up to 280. They have to add up to 280. I shouldn't have written in such a horrible way because I left myself no room to do anything. I'm going to rewrite it. So we have A plus three quarters of A plus seven ninth, seven ninth of B, which is three quarters of A. And that has to equal 280. And you will see, you will see why I desperately need some room up there because I need I need the room there to do something. Let's begin our let's, let's begin our work. Let's begin our work, shall we? The very first thing we're gonna do is to see if we can find any common denominator. But before we do that, if there is any simplification that we can do, if we can, if we can reduce some, some fractions, we will do that first because if we reduce the fraction first, it will, me, it will mean down the road less work for us. We see three here and we see a nine here. Let's divide the three and the nine, uh, let's divide the top and bottom by three. So three goes away and nine becomes three. So essentially, it is seven over 12. Seven over 12, why don't we rewrite it? Seven over 12, seven 12. Or we can just leave it like that, it's 7, 12. We have a 4 here. If we can make that 4 into a 12, and if we can introduce a 12 here, and 12 there in the denominator, we'll have the same denominator everywhere. Once we have the same denominator, once we have the common denominator throughout the entire equation, the denominator will cease to play any role, and then we can move on from there. So let's do that. We have a 4 here, we need a 12. So let's, let's introduce, let's multiply this quantity by, let's do it in a red color, Let's multiply that quantity by 3 over 3. So it's 3 times 4 is 12. We have a 12 here, we have a 12 here. And don't forget that we had an A here. We have an A here. Let's multiply that by 12 over 12. With me so far? And now we have to introduce a 12 over there. So let's do that by multiplying top and bottom by 12. That's it. The rest is very straightforward, very simple. So let's begin the process. So we have 12a 
12a plus 3 times 3 which is 9a plus 7 times a which is 7a and that has to equal 280 times 12. Because we have a 12 here, 3 times 4, that's 12, there is a 12, there is a 12, they all have the same denominator. We just have to solve this equation for A, that's all. 12 plus 9, 12 plus 10 would have been 22, so it's 21, 21 plus 7 is 28. Well, isn't that nice? It's 28A equals 280 times 12. Isn't that nice? That makes our life easy. I have lost my eraser. My high-tech eraser has gone. I had to retrieve it. We're going to leave these quantities here so that we can use them later on. Divide both sides by 28 and we are done. 28 is going to go away. 280 divided by 28 is just 10, which means the population of A we are claiming is 10 times 12, which is 120 which is 120. If A is 120, B has to be 3 quarter of it. If A is 120, we are told that B has to be 3 quarter of A. 3 quarter of A, a quarter of 120 is 30, 3 quarters is going to be 90 as you can see. 4, divide top and bottom by 4, 12 has 3 4, so it's 30 times 3 which is 90. And C, C, we know from here, you see the 3's cancel out with the 9 and we ended up with 7 12, 7 12 of A. 7 12, 7 12 of A, which is 120. 7 12 of A. 12 is going to cancel out with 120, 10 times, and 10 times 7 is going to be 70. The question is, does 70 plus 90, do 70 plus 90 plus 120 add up to what the problem tells us they add up to, which is 280, and if they do, we are home free. A, we are claiming it's 120. B, we are claiming it's 90. And C, we are claiming it's 70. Do they add up to 180? Keep your fingers crossed. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 7 is... 11 plus 7 is... is 18. 8. 31. Oh, what do you know? 280. Population of town A is 120,000. Town A has 120,000 people. Town B has 90,000 people. And town C, according to the problem, will have to have 70,000 people. Bye now.